A French woman took her 14-year-old son to the Islamic center in order to convert him to Islam and when they arrived at the center, the boy saw the imam of the center in France. He said to him, Mom says you helped me to convert to Islam. The imam asked him, Do you want to convert to Islam? The boy said, I didn't think about this, but it's mom who wants me to get into it. The imam was surprised by his answer and said to him, Is your mother a Muslim? The boy replied, No, and I don't know why she wants me to enter Islam. The Imam said, Where is your mother? He said, She is with me now outside the mosque. The Imam said, Go and get her so that I can talk to her. The boy went out and brought his mother. The Imam said to her, Is it true that I heard from your son that you are not a Muslim and you are asking him to convert to Islam? She said, Yes, that's right. The Imam was surprised by her answer and said to her, And why? She said, Because I live in a building in Paris and the apartment in front of me is inhabited by a Muslim woman who who has two sons which are studying in university and every morning and evening. I watch the two boys whenever they leave the house or come back kissing their mother's head and hand and treating her with great respect as if she were the head of state. So I like that my son would enter Islam so that if I get old, he would treat me how? A Muslim treats his mother. And not throwing me into nursing home like his cousins did in my sister when she grew old. A few months later, the boy's mother came to the same Islamic center to which she had sent him and said to the imam of the center, I want to enter Islam. The imam looked at her a little and then remembered her, smiled and said to her, It seems that your son persuaded you to enter Islam by treating you well and loving you. The lady said he treated me well and told me a lot about Islam and its greatness. And it affected me a little but what made me come here rushing is the poor Muslim lady I knew well and I knew how needy poor and the tribulations she lived in. And despite all her sufferings, I found her fasting the month of Ramadan. And she was very happy this month despite hunger, thirst and poverty and this confused me a lot. So I asked her in surprise, why are you fasting Ramadan? She replied to me saying, I fast so that I feel the poor. The answer of the poor lady was behind my decision. To convert to Islam, this lady who has nothing in this world and perhaps has nothing in her life tames her heart to humility and feels for those who are less than her. This lady who has known only adversities wants to thank Allah by making her belly empty. Thank him for hunger. What is this? I made sure that this is a true religion. So I said, if this is Islam, then I want to convert. وَمَنْ أَحْسَنُ قَوْلًا مِّمَّنْ دَعَا إِلَى اللَّهِ وَعَمِلَ صَالِحًا وَقَالَ إِنَّنِي مِنَ الْمُسْلِمِينَ 